Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sebel Greek and Toma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. Um, today I'm going to quickly show you how to actually arrange all of your uh, your font size and your annotations. Okay, in uh, Prota Structure, if you go down under this Building Set Out uh, tab, if you click on this drop down here. You're going to see layers and color settings okay if you click on those settings here good now you can see you can play around with your reinforcement um, because when you print out your detailing uh, you will notice most times that the detailing um, uh, if you try to print it out uh, it will most likely not uh, appear very well okay it may not uh, be clear or when you print it out it will not show okay so um, all that boils down to the colors and the size of your font okay so we are actually going to go through that process uh, right now now you can see the steel column you can see the steel beam you can see these are all uh, these colors you can actually play around with them you can change the colors okay all right um let's go under beams now if you come under your beam we have the beam line okay uh let me look for a drawing that i have printed uh, drawing one Okay, um, beam line. Okay, so you can change the color uh, beam hash, beam label, beam size label, beam auxiliary line, uh, beam auxiliary text. Okay, uh, let's come down to the detail. I think the detail drawing is the major uh, area where we mostly have uh, some issues sometimes okay this is not what I want okay um, beam label good you can see this color does not really show very clear when you try to print out your drawing beam line that's the detailed drawings okay uh, beam label beam size label okay so this one uh, let me change this to blue or let me change it to red beam label uh, I'm gonna make this blue uh, okay uh, you can as well you can see here we have here you can click on this drop down here you click down here you can as well change uh, I think I would prefer to use this and it's bold right you can switch it to italic but let me leave it as bold so these are some of the basic settings you need to do uh, and then the text height very very important here uh, this height uh, for your beam label all right let me try to use 10 I'm going to make this 10 10 
so uh please take notes we actually edited that of beam so let me click on okay and then uh i'm going to quickly run uh, the analysis for this i'm not going to assign any property nothing i'm just going to use the default uh, because the essence of this is just to i just want to view my beam detail okay so let me analyze my beam okay i'm supposed to uh, include my combinations it's still loading so if you love what you're seeing already please why not like this video okay just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight you can call me on this number okay or you can dm me on whatsapp we have covered up to 25 different uh, uh softwares on our youtube channel they are very very much available if you go down below the description of this video you'll find a link to that channel please visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy okay uh, this is actually still loading you can enroll with us on any of our trainings um, which we take on telegram where we'll give you the software okay guide you on how to install them okay and then we'll train you okay once you attain mastery uh, this is actually still loading okay 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 I'll click on this I'll click on okay Go close this. Uh, I'm supposed to add the load combination. That is what I did not do. So, like I said, I'm just going to use everything as default uh, because I just going to analyze this. Just the beam. I just want to see. I just want to show you how this detailing is going to look like okay so instead of uh, going to AutoCAD to do all of those editing you can actually just do all of them here and Design uh, beam story beams. okay fine whoa you can see you can see that it's actually big it's it's now showing very bold okay very very bold i think i i like this it's looking very bold okay so let's go back to that settings again uh uh this let's go down to beam beam size label beam size label bold uh, I'll switch it to area black but I think there should be uh, 
okay i think vani is even good this other one is also good sorry So I'm going to change this size to 10. Change this to 10. I'll change this to 10. Okay, so that it will be bold. Okay, okay. So take this out back here story beam okay oh my god I hope this don't go off oh I have to close that okay but um that is actually uh i believe the information has been passed uh there is an error there probably from my system so i'm going to fix that uh but as you have seen uh the software will, you can actually play around with your annotation and your font from there you can change uh the type of uh uh, the size your sizes of your fonts okay the type of uh, annotation you actually want to use okay so you can actually play around with it from the software even without you taking it to autocad to start increasing all of that so you can play around with it okay in the next episode i'm going to be showing you more giving you more insights on that so make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay